Hello! We're back with another how to build an aesthetic wardrobe video. I haven't done one of these in a while because I've been focusing on making videos talking more about how to style different outfits for every aesthetic, but it's always fun to do these. I love when new aesthetics pop up even though it kind of gets out of hand with all the different cores and people like really trying to fit a certain aesthetic when really you should just wear whatever you want. But it's fun to see what new aesthetics people come up with and it's really helpful when you find an aesthetic you really like and now you finally have search terms to Google to look for more inspiration pictures. Today we're doing the horror game protagonist aesthetic which you might have seen pop up last year in 2023 and kind of get more popular on TikTok. Personally, I don't play a lot of horror games because I'm a pl but I do like to watch playthroughs on YouTube every now and then, so I love the idea of this. Disclaimer, we're mostly talking about female horror game protagonists in this video because that seems to be what's the most popular right now. Sorry boys. But if you want me to try and do another video on like a masculine take on this aesthetic, I'd be happy to try that out. So what is this aesthetic? Like the name suggests, the horror game protagonist aesthetic is based on horror game protagonists. It tends to be from Japanese video games, but I don't think that's a strict rule. It's mostly just about the vibes. The style itself has elements similar to the Dark Coquette aesthetic, and you also see some Y2K and 2010s influence, like Alice Cullen kind of vibes, and also the business casual style from the 2010s, but styled in a more grungy and modern way, or school uniform inspiration. There's some layering in this aesthetic, especially with tops, like layering lace camisoles under blouses or vests on top of blouses. And that's one way you could play around with this aesthetic and try to make it your own and experiment with and play around with. And the video games you see a lot in this aesthetic include Fatal Frame, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, and I don't know, anything else? Let me know in the comments below because again, I'm not an expert on horror game videos. Horror video games. For the color palette, you definitely see a lot of black, white, and gray, and maybe some red accents. I really like this aesthetic. I love the idea of taking that business casual vibe that is so very quintessentially 2010 and making it a little bit more grungy and modern and also making it a little bit feminine and romantic at the same time. So I think it's a really cool juxtaposition of a bunch of different aesthetics and very unique. So let's talk about what items to look for if you're shopping for this aesthetic and you're trying to build up a horror game protagonist wardrobe. For tops, I would look for ruffle tops, milkmaid tops, short sleeve button-ups or long sleeve button-ups and anything like Y2K or 2010s inspired like I like to think of Alice Cullen style tops I think that really fits the video game protagonist style if you style it a certain way Peter Pan colors work too or just colored tops in general lace trim tops especially lace camisoles for layering vest and there's a lot of different ways you can go with vests you can go for a practical utility kind of vest a waistcoat to layer over your button-up shirt or black sweater vest to go for that kind of schoolgirl vibe. You can look for knit tops or Henley tops or cardigans or tight sweaters layered over lace trim camisoles. So I feel like there's a lot of kind of feminine fabrics and details like ruffles, lace, etc. but kind of making it more grungy and you know horror game inspired. So you can kind of play around with those little details for layering. For bottoms, I would look for mini skirts, especially pleated mini skirts, ruffle skirts for a more feminine look, denim skirts, and there's really not much pants in this aesthetic, so if you really want to go for the aesthetic exactly, you'd probably go for skirts mostly, but of course you don't have to follow the aesthetic exactly, you can make it your own and just wear whatever you want and what makes you feel comfortable. If you do want to do pants, I'd probably go for a more Y2K style to match the vibe of the aesthetic like that Y2K vibe or like cargo pants, something practical because if you're a horror game protagonist, you probably need to be running a lot and carrying a lot of stuff. For shoes, I would look for combat boots against something practical or tall lace-up boots. I think those two are the biggest ones you will see in this aesthetic. I see so much like lace-up kind of boots in these horror game protagonist outfits or you can go for like chunky Mary Janes or similar platform chunky shoes. But sneakers can probably work too if you don't have any of those. For accessories, one thing you can try is lace ribbons, whether that's in your hair or tied around your neck, knee-high socks or tights, necklaces like pearl necklaces, chokers or lace necklaces. Um, you can also try layering different necklaces on. And ribbon accessories because there's kind of a really uniquely feminine element to this aesthetic even though it's kind of grungy. It's definitely a more dark feminine aesthetic, which is my favorite kind of aesthetic. And that's pretty much it for the main items to get for this aesthetic, but let me know in the comments if I missed any. And then in terms of where to shop, 
I would try thrifting. I think that would be the best option because it is the most affordable and also because there's a lot of Y2K and 2010s pieces there right now. So thrifting is probably your best bet or you can also try thrifting online like Depop, ThreadUp, etc. Whatever apps and websites are available in your country for buying secondhand. I'd also look at Japanese stores like Access Femme because there is a big Japanese video game influence in this aesthetic. Or you can try YesStyle for a more affordable option which also has a lot of Asian brands so you might find a lot of options there as well. Noctex is a really good option and a sustainable option for alternative fashion and I think you could definitely find a lot of cool tops and bottoms here. They also have kind of like basic pieces that I think you can definitely easily style into this aesthetic. And lastly you can try Mingo London which is definitely a more pricey option but they have a lot of grungy collections that I think you can style into this aesthetic as well. If you have any other ideas for where to shop let me know in the comments as well because I love finding places to shop kind of a shopaholic but that's besides the point but that's pretty much it for this video i hope this helped and i hope you like this aesthetic as much as i do let me know if there's any other aesthetics you want me to cover in the future and if you want more fashion content from me you can follow me on instagram at the dress relief and on tiktok at dress relief and you can join my discord server to talk about anything and everything related to fashion and aesthetics we have quite the growing community and everyone is so nice in my little channel my little community so i think it's a really great resource to meet other people who are interested in fashion and aesthetics get some outfit inspiration and share your outfit of the day get some fashion advice and discover new aesthetics so check it out i'll link it down below but that's all for today and i will see you guys next time